All right, today at the Quick Speed Shop, we're gonna be doing a quick little video, a little shop walk around tour here, and uh, just trying to quick out, kick out some quick content because I don't know how good my internet connection is gonna be with all this lockdown nonsense. So we're gonna do a quick tour of the Quick Speed Shop right now. I'm a professional, don't try this at home. All right, so this is my uh, my original shop here when I bought my house. This this garage is a 28 by 28 originally, and I added a 10 foot addition onto the front of it, so now it's 38 feet deep. And this wall over here next to me, which you can't see, but I'll show you that in a minute, is separating it down. So I've got a 38 by 16 shop in here, and this is where I do all my building in the quick speed shop here. Here's my sign. I used to hang out front until the wind got it, so I had to put it on the wall. But I start out with my toolbox. My toolbox is here. I got a Craftsman uh, box with a smash lid. I bought this on a deal at Sears. It was uh, $249, uh, $299 marked down to $149, and I think I got it for like $100. It was about 15 years ago, but I talked them, talked them down because they had a tiny little dent in the corner, so it was pretty cool. Over here, I got all my bolt bins and stuff. I got this. Uh, it's all trashed and dirty now, but I got that originally at my work. They ordered it. It was missing a bunch of parts, and they're going to send it away or throw it, throw it away, I guess. So I took it home, I bolted some of the racks together and did some other things and got it working. One funny thing that happened is I used to have it on this wall behind me over here and I went to move it and the thing was loaded. I didn't take the sh all the shelves off of it and the whole thing collapsed and dumped face down on the ground and it took me about four hours to pick it all up and sort through it. That really sucked. So I wish I hadn't done that, but there it is, my storage, all my bolts and crap over there on the wall. There's a hot dog heater up there. You see the the video series on that and then we go over to my TV here then over my head where is it ah, over there I got a stereo I picked up off the side of the road it works awesome it's kicking I'll just kind of pan around here's the uh, here's the crate I built my package up that metal sign that's still in there waiting to go and uh, over here under the plastic I've got my uh, my generator and my flathead power plants they're uh, just kind of in the way I'm waiting to get those down my pole barn once I put the floor in that that's on hold now too because everything else so I come over here, I got a whiteboard for doodling. I got my Beverly shear on a table with a vise and a couple of grinders. Got some Studebaker M-Series trucks, grills on the wall. All my uh, four ways, a 32 uh, commercial grill shell missing the top, some miscellaneous junk on the wall, an old spotlight, a couple of signs, old refrigerator door. I've got a secret piece of equipment that's under that tarp. We'll dig that out here pretty soon when I get some more space going. The third KR Wilson industrial power plant there, which has the 221 uh, 85 horsepower engine in it that is behind this plywood. Right there, that engine's gonna be going into my 37 Ford here this year, hopefully. So I gotta disassemble that, get that out of here. Ah, There's things everywhere. Over here I got the uh, over here I got the F head engine out of my 53 M38A1. Um, it's locked up. I think I'm gonna, we're going to take it apart in a future video and do a disassembly and see if we can get it unstuck. If not, it's going to be a display motor. And uh, there's a Model A engine over here that came out of my doodle bug. Random speed limit sign, some other miscellaneous junk back in there. It's actually a Buick Nailhead V8 uh, buried under this junk pile, a 401 Buick Nailhead 62 four barrel motor. Come over here, we got the bead roller, oh, we got the bead roller here. We got a temporary table I built, a shelf pretty much to hold some junk. Because under there is four uh, Ford Flathead 859 ABs. They're all stuck, they all need to be rebuilt. And that's why they're pretty much under the bench. They're just kind of hanging out there. Got my Harbor Freight brake, which you've seen in some videos. Then up here on the wall, I got a bunch of miscellaneous stuff, hanging chains, flathead headers, um, other headlights, spotlights. So the 47, 48 Buick taillights, got to shine off the light here. 1913 Cadillac cowl light. Come over here to the work area, you see me use this drill press a bunch of times, and here's my workbench over here. Pretty much on the workbench, you got a vise, you got another, uh, like an anvil made out of steel plate and an I-beam. I got a wooden top workbench, some stainless steel on it. A couple of cabinets, a whole bunch of miscellaneous stuff hanging up here, grinder discs and uh, hacksaw and stuff like that. Got some paper towels, tape tape section here, masking section. 
Well, here in the front, you can see this white piece here. This is where the original garage door used to be. And then I added this section up here. There's another 10 feet I've added here. But got my air compressor, got a couple of cabinets and miscellaneous stuff over here, some, some hoses. Got the original top that was on my Model A hot rod shop truck cut off. Got the hood, I got to paint for that. I've got a press I have to put together that my buddy's dad gave me. Got the sandblasting cabinet for my dad's shop over here. I've got to get that put away eventually. Um, some stuff I brought home from track from the trash, a filing cabinet, another tool cart over here we're going to do a build on. Um, some miscellaneous cabinets with stuff inside them. An old dirty wooden cabinet here. Some other junk on the floor. But you can look down here, you can see the concrete, and then it goes into the carpet. But over here there's asphalt. I actually built the addition on top of the asphalt driveway. I still had to dig all this out and put concrete in here. I wanted to do that this year as well. So we'll see if we get to that. Turn around looking here, we got the Model A Hot Rod Shop truck hanging out, and then back into the shop. So basically, like I said, it's 16 feet wide across this way and 38 feet long. So I can do two projects in here, nose to tail, but with those flat heads and all that junk in the back and stuff, I'm down in one space right now. I've really got to get organized. So here's the Model A Hot Rod Shop truck. You know, I've been working on it right along here. I just found out today that the show I was going to take it to on April 9th has been canceled. Obviously, everything is getting canceled now. So, so I'm going to work on this, get this going for the spring. I'm going to hammer on this, and then i got another secret project coming up right after this. It's going to be pretty involved. It'll probably take most of the spring and into the early part of the summer. So we'll get this done and get it out of here. But this is just my home little shop. Um, the other half of the building, like I said, there's a wall that separates the two. I have storage. i got the L37 Buick Coupe in there and my black 37 Ford and then some uh, shelves of junk in there but there's nothing really to see in there and all that happens in here and you can see a kind of pack rat and it's, everything is a disaster at all times but we still get the work done have fun building that it gives a little character to the place to have all the stuff hanging around and uh, you know why trash it when you can stash it so that's it a little quick walk around the, around the quick speed shop just a tight little shop but we're going to be able to build a lot of stuff in here and uh, hopefully going to keep doing it all through the spring. Hopefully there won't be any internet interruptions, but I'm making a couple of quick videos just to show different things. To get them out there, I don't want to leave you guys without content. So I'm going to hammer through a couple of these right quick and then sit on them and hopefully by the spring or early summer we'll be all back to normal pretty much and uh, continuing to do things as usual. Because you don't want to be out in the summertime and not be cruising. This is the time, especially up here in the wintertime, I look forward to it all year and this Corona's crap come through here and it sucks. So I'm hoping that everybody's staying healthy and it flattens out or whatever. You know, they're talking about the curve and I just want to get over it. Then all the economic repercussions are going to be a complete disaster for a lot of people and it's going to be really bad. But I'm going to try to stay positive here and and get out content. We don't want to be moping. The freaking news is full of nonsense and making everybody panic and feel like garbage. So we're going to do positive stuff here at the Quick Speed Shop. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Hopefully I'm putting out new videos every Wednesday and Saturday. And uh, come right here. Tell your friends. Subscribe. Hit the bell for the alerts. And we'll see you at the Quick Speed Shop all through 2020.